I want to rejoin now the former governor of California, Gray Davis. Governor, thank you for staying with me. You made the point about how many mass shootings they are. Uh, there was something like 334 days in this year so far, 351 mass shootings, and that's a higher number, something like 363 in 2013, even higher in 2014. The point is the number is high and it is climbing. What can be done? Uh, first of all, we need a greater sense of outrage. I mean, there's at least 14 people who were slaughtered today. They had people who loved them, uh, children uh, that they were raising, parents who cared for them. Uh, those so it's not just the people who, who were callously gunned down. It's all the people who loved them were part of the family. The people network. connected to them, sure. Right. All them are suffering, and that we shouldn't just say, "Oh, well, that was that's too bad," and go on with our lives. We should we should demand from our government that we can live in a safer society than we are living in. Any advice to President Obama, Governor? Well, I, I'm not going to limit to the president, but I think everyone in the Congress. Uh, president, governors, and mayors ought to realize their first obligation as an elected official is the public safety of their uh, constituents. I was the governor on 9-11. I can't tell you how many hours I spent for two or three years, most of which the public didn't know, wor worrying about uh, threats to various parts of, of California. Uh, so that ought to be their highest priority is the safety and security. And there's a lot of things they can do with their in California, we have city police, we have county sheriffs, we have the state highway patrol, similar setups around the rest of the country. Mayors and governors can make a big difference all by themselves, as well as the Congress and the president. Governor, so glad to, that you could join us. Thank you for the time. Former I Governor of California, Gray Davis.